back into my channel it's your girl nizzy mac and i'm back on the track thanks for dropping in you guys so i got a bomb wig review for y'all this is a human hair wig and as you can tell by the title it's from you nice hair okay i've worked with them before everybody knows about you nice like their hair is really good i'm coming to share my honest review and opinion on this here wig yeah so there's some pros and cons so make sure y'all stay tuned and of course everything will be listed down in the description box and um i don't i think i have a discount code if i do i will leave it down below okay so make sure y'all check that out Go ahead and jump into it y'all this is a reddish brown kinky curly unit so this is this is um a little bit different like the construction of the wig cap girl so um off jump the wig comes uh pre-plucked the lace comes cut and it has an elastic band in it and then inside of the wig it has a, a gel strip um to stop the wig from sliding around and everything like that so this one is really good however the wig cap is super small like oh my goodness super small so it's like way back behind my sideburns edges so this one um is not big hair friendly but it you can still wear it i will say be cautious when the wind blows because like i said it is like way behind my um edges but it's still cute okay honestly i wish this was a 13 by 6 um so i can get that you know what i'm saying but it's still cute okay so the the parting area is really wide you guys so you get a lot of parting area um, this is like a seven by five i think that's what they called it so you're able to get that kind of frontal effect even though it's not a frontal and i liked how the baby hairs came styled already y'all so this one is like really ready to go um i will note that the curls when you first get it they're like extra crispy didn't like that but it wasn't bad just just notating um that it won't look like this if you um you know straight out of the box i had to do the little finger coil things to the ends just just i wanted to look a little bit nicer and i did go ahead and chop a little bit off the end i chopped a little bit off just to kind of trim it i've been seeing everybody do that and i think it honestly is like you have to do this every time and honestly i've been spending like I used to just throw my curly wigs on and go, but now I kind of take my time. Um, these curly wigs should take more time than the straight units, honestly, because you need to um, put the water on the hair. You need to brush the hair out first, get all the tangles out, then put water on it to get it wet, then put mousse on it to get it moussey, and then go ahead and finger curl it um, individually. Um, so yeah, it takes a lot of time to get it to look like this, but I will say, um, once you spend that time on it it's like good to go and you don't have to worry about it in the future so this is my um i've been wearing this wig for like a week now and i will say the first time i um <laughs> yeah this so this wig review is like really gonna be really thorough because i uh, struggled with this wig a little bit because um when i first got it i just put water on it like i usually do and like boom and then um in a few hours it just kept growing and growing and growing so i'm like okay like next time I install this, I need to use mousse. Like I have to. So then I used mousse and um, it was cute. And then I went out and um, forgot to freaking like put my hair up. So then it, it turned into a tangled nappy mess. Um, so I, I don't really don't know if I like the, um, the hair on this wig. If, especially if you don't know how to tame it. It's really not beginner friendly because it took me like two hours after my initial brush through to brush through it again like it's just really nappy hair but i like that but at the same time it's a lot it's a lot okay like i had to break this down in sections it was so bad and honestly i think the back is still kind of nappy a little bit but you know whatever this one you have to put a lot of mousse in it and then um, after you style it and finger coil it, you cannot touch this wig until it dries. Um, you can kind of see areas where I was playing with it before it dro dried completely, but like, I just like, I'm such a hair girl, I'm always like this. So when you're doing curly hair, let it dry, don't touch it. I recommend using the diffuser if you have it because it speeds up the process. Um, I can't find my little nozzle head, so that's why I, I didn't use it. But yeah, I really like this one, y'all. I like the color on it. I like the lace. Now, the knots aren't bleached, um, but they're not like bad. So it's it's okay. I, was, I usually bleach my wigs, the knots, but um, it's 
this they said it was ready to go so i just you know threw it on and it, it is ready to go easy to put on however the hair i think because it's bleached and dyed that it's a little bit on the frizzy side you know so this one takes a lot of time tlc to get this to look like this but honestly i love it and i love how the um ends turned out by finger coiling it that's just super cute okay i do wish i would have cut some layers in it but i do that with every wig so i tried not to do it with this one um but honestly after this review y'all already know i'm cutting my little bangs because that's my little style like i really like it but yeah i really enjoyed this wig y'all i have no cons um, I don't know if I noted that this is 24 inches. Um, this one is also available on the TikTok shop if you want to buy it. Because I know the TikTok shop, they offer um, like 40% off coupons. So you can really get it in, okay? But yeah, I like this one, you guys. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Is y'all feeling Miss Girl? Let's talk about it, okay? And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.